Yeah, my signature definitely changed a little bit over through the years, and definitely as a kid, would spend lots of time practicing it. It actually came from my brother. My brother always, you know, he's got the same initials as me, so he would always come up with them, and I would always kind of steal them. So definitely stole this one from my brother. I mean, it's so important that fans get the real thing when buying memorabilia. Something that I definitely take seriously. I mean, there's definitely people that try to take advantage of you or fake it or something like that. But, you know, when you're buying from Upper Deck, you definitely know you're getting the real thing. And as a collector or as someone that wants to have a cool piece, I think you definitely want to make sure that you know it's the real thing and it's coming from the right people. A memory I've made so far in my career, maybe winning the winning World Junior Gold Medal in Toronto in front of friends and family. I haven't been able to to win at the NHL level yet, you know, so obviously that would be the memory, but you know, for now, you know, World Juniors in my hometown in front of lots of family and friends. Before every single game, I certainly have you know routines or rituals, nothing too crazy, more personal stuff, you know, just gets me right in a good headspace to, to play. A piece of advice that stuck with me early on in my career and I definitely didn't understand until you know now is you know just how fast it goes and just to kind of enjoy it. You know when I first got into the league you always listen to some of the older guys talk about how quick your career goes and it kind of just flies by and just to enjoy it and you know here I am in my seventh year and definitely can't believe it's been seven years already so it definitely goes by quick. The message I have for kids that aspire to, to play in the NHL or be like me or anything like that would just be to have fun with it. You know, as a kid growing up, uh, I just loved playing. I loved, uh, you know, being on my rollerblades or being on the ice and practicing. And you know, it was never work for me. I just enjoyed doing it and had fun with it. And you know, that uh, allowed me to to keep working and ultimately end up, uh, you know, where I am now today.